Yeah. All right, everybody, welcome back to Daybreak. It is time to check in with our friends at the Dickerson Park Zoo. We know it's been very, very hot there. Yeah, let's check on what they have going on. Joey Powell joining us this morning to talk about how the animals are coping with this extreme heat. Joey, good morning. Good morning. I'm here with a Congo and Champ, our otters, and talk about extreme heat. These are the two, uh, the two animals at the zoo that do not care if it is 10 degrees or 110 degrees. They're always going to be playing. They, they just don't care of what the temperature is. I kind of envy them. I agree with that. I was just about to say the same thing. I envy them. I wish I could enjoy being outside, whether it's 110 or 10 degrees. They look like they're having a good time. They are having a great time. I think they're a little disappointed that I don't have fish for them this morning, but they are going to be well cared for uh, as soon as their keepers get in. But we're actually celebrating National Zookeeper Week this week and really highlighting our incredible zookeepers and the care that they provide for all the animals. That's awesome, Joey. So, you know, obviously these two critters right here, they you know are able to stay cool all the time. What are some of the tougher animals for you all to care for? And what do you have to, you know, kind of, make sure some of those precautions are that you take there at the zoo with them. Right now, some of the precautions are, if, you'll, if you come visit, is the Aldabra tortoises are not outside. And you would probably think that a tortoise would be fine in the heat. But when it gets above 95 degrees like that, what we've been experiencing here this past week, and especially this week, they're going to stay indoors. So the animals all have a mister or an indoor location or some shade. We take per, uh, precautions. They will make them ice treats. Uh, a lot of the carnivores will get special ice treats that the keepers make. And so just like we would have a popsicle or an ice cream cone to cool off in the day, they get things like that. Uh, the elephants have a great building indoors with uh, cooler temperatures. The giraffes have great big fans that go on. So mm -hmm. just like we do, we have to be very, very careful with them. Uh, make sure that they are, you know, have a way to regulate their body temperature. And, and most of them, of course, are, are used to being outdoors. But just like all of us, when it's this hot, they pay a lot of extra attention to them and make sure they're they're in good health. The zookeeper is working extra hard this week, even though it is zookeeper week. So you can go to the Dickerson Park Zoo and celebrate with them. Joey Powell, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> thank you.